most stuff happens slower than it takes to pay off a 30-year mortgage. <laughs> Congress, you just made a huge mistake. Now we know you can actually do things quickly if you want to. <laughs> As As for President Bush, he knows a target of opportunity when he sees one, so he promptly signed the bill. The Senate voted 95 to 0, the House uh, 412 to 8. It's affirmed the decision by the FTC, and it's affirmed the wishes of the American people. You know, Bush is like a genie who only grants crappy wishes. <laughs> Thanks for the quiet phone. Can I use my next wish on health insurance? <laughs> but there's a hitch to the bill the president signed. Namely, it might be illegal, because a Denver judge now says the do not call list violates telemarketers' free speech rights and is unconstitutional. Constitution? I feel betrayed. You let me have my porn, my guns? Why won't you let me enjoy them without annoying interruptions? <laughs> What's going to happen in this most important of issues? President Bush ordered the telemarketing registry to take effect as of today, while industry lawyers vow to go to the Supreme Court, where they can make their pitch to the ideal telemarketing audience. Gullible old people. <laughs> John? Thank you very much, Lewis. Lewis Black! I didn't know you answered the phone that way. That's very rude. Get a chance to visit the Baghdad Museum? I didn't have a chance to go there, no. That's too bad because my friend who works at the Fox News Channel went and he brought me back this third century Phoenician ceramic bowl. It's supposedly it's priceless. I can't. Jeez. Oops. <laughs> oh well, it's kind of ugly anyway. Now here it is, your moment of zen. I read those books at home in Texas, but I felt like I was a world away, hiding in my invisibility cloak and making magic potions with Harry.